Hey, what's up guys? Happy Monday, Randos Tech here. Um, I wanted to put this in just real quick before the video, letting Joe, Joe the Techie, we PSP, link is down below, the whole screen's in annotation. Click it right now. Uh, this guy is pretty big on tech and form. He's relatively new, he's a great editor, lots of updated content. Um, by far, one of the best people uh, that I've worked with um, throughout my YouTube career, I guess. Really great, lots of great content. Um, anyways, I had a request a few days ago about browsers, Safari, um, Firefox, Explorer, uh, if we cared, um, and then, of course, Chrome. And I passed that request on to him. I think we're going to start doing some stuff like this more often. He may appear on my channel. Who knows? I could appear on his. Um, the screenshot you're looking at is a photo of his channel, and I would really like to get his subscribers up. He makes, honestly, I, I really mean this when I say this, he makes fantastic content, and he deserves more followers. Uh, and with Tech Inform, we're going to start working together, and I'd love it if you guys at least go check out his channel, look at some of his videos, leave comments, and of course subscribe if you do like the content. So um, click the big annotation right now. It'll take you to his channel, and the, his his most recent video, at least as of now, is the Mac browser comparison, and then he's got lots of browser comparisons. Uh, this is all on OS X, but it should be pretty applicable to uh, to PC browsers as well. So click the big annotation, I'll wait for you for a few more seconds, and I'll be talking to you guys in about four seconds when I start the video. Thanks. Ryan knows Tech here with techinform.us, and we're going to finish up our iWork 2009 suite review here with Keynote. Um, part of the iLife suite, obviously, of 2009. This is your PowerPoint equivalent from Apple. So uh, I figured we're just going to go in the same sort of reviewing fashion that we have in the other two videos. Again, the posts, um, written content about all three parts of the suite are on techinform.us. That's our tech blog. Lots of new content there. Featured images are done. Thanks, Bobby, if you're watching this. Um, but go check it out, see what that looks like, and uh, I guess we're going to continue with the review of Keynote. So open it up and you get a theme, I guess a theme chooser, which is the same with uh, pages and numbers. From here, you can go through Venetian. That sounds pretty cool. Retro, lots of different themes, color schemes. Of course, you can change everything when you're in there. Just black, just white, if you want to go with a Microsoft Office approach. The gradient kind of looks like that Apple thing. They have the blue to black gradient. Showroom looks pretty cool. Kyoto, craft, scrapbook, blueprint, leather, watercolor, all kinds of stuff. And let's, uh, for the purpose of this, how about we try Blackboard? And then Slideshow, we can change our size here. Now they're different on which theme you choose. For example, if I come up to Gradient, I can go all the way up to 1080p, 1680 by 1050, 1280 by 720, which is 720p, um, 1024 by 768, which is the 4x3, and then the 800 by 600, also 4x3. Um, actually, why don't we try Venetian, and we'll do it in full 1080p so we can see how beautiful this looks. So change your resolution if you want. Um, this is good if you know the resolution of the projector you're going to be presenting this at, or a monitor, or a TV, or whatever. You can uh, really make it so you don't have big black lines on the top or side when presenting. So I'll we'll go ahead and choose the Venetian theme in 1080p high def, and there it is, massive on my 1080p screen here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, double click to edit. Well, obviously really basic, just like Microsoft Office. We can obviously move these text boxes around. We get our little align guidelines. I don't know if you can see it. It's super faint. It's actually yellow, and it's right by the eye and click. So uh, double click. That's gone. And how about we type in some text like keynote review, and then we'll come down here in the subtitle and do I work 2009 Steve Jobs. Very cool. So there's that. We can change this background image here to pretty much anything we want. Same way we can do it in any other of the I like or the I life uh, suites or I work. Go to media. Just uh, about scroll down a little bit. That's a fun picture. Just drag it in, and there it is. So we can move that to the background if we wanted to. Go ahead and close the media thing. Shrink it down. Move it anywhere we want. That's obviously too big, so we'll just remove that. Um, but it's. It's just easy. I don't know how. I don't know any other way to say this. It's just very easy to do all this stuff. Again, like all the other programs in uh, iWork, all your information is up at the end top. Is up at the top. Inspector. Inspector is your editing and effects and formatting tool that gets you more in depth without using the basic text box, shapes, tables, graphs, comments, uh, and links up in this uh, ribbon up here. So let's say we want to make a new slide. Right hand click over here, new slide. And uh, here's a new slide. So double click to edit. We'll just type in whatever we want up there. And the same thing down here. 
And then uh, if we wanted to edit a certain element, we could come up here and select it, and then the inspector is talking about that element. So we can change what our slide looks like here. Kind of, It's a little bit easier in Office, I think, to change the arrangement of your slide, like picture graph or title, topic, or, or you know stuff like that. But you can do it from here with the inspector. Background fill, we can make an image, a color, a gradient. How about we make a gradient? There it is, that's pretty. Then we can change our colors. How about a deeper blue to a pinker white, I guess. How about that? That's kind of hideous, but that's all right. So then we'll come over here to text. We can do anything we want with our text color. We can change that our magic wheel here to lime green, make it look like a Lamborghini. And then uh, from effects, we can put a shadow on that text like we can in Office. We can do reflections on some text. Some text don't support it. And then there's opacity, which is nice if you're trying to put something behind it. You really want it to pop or fade in. You can adjust the opacity. We can link that. We can make this um, text up there a hyperlink. And we can link it to another slide, a web page, a keynote slideshow, an email message, anything we want which is cool. And then QuickTime. So we can go ahead and put in a video and then QuickTime is going to let us kind of embed it, adjust the controls, uh, poster frame, start and stop times, repeat. Just nice, uh, kind of like iWeb, if you're familiar with the way iWeb works. Close that, we're done. Now if you want to adjust a whole slide in terms of effects, like let's go back to that first slide, just select it over here in their slides category. Go to back up to the inspector. Then the second little uh, tab up here on the inspector is, is uh, transitions. Maybe not. Third <laughs> would be uh, transitions. So we can do a build-in theme, a build-out, as in uh, when, the, when the slide opens and then when the slide closes and then an action. So let's do a build-in of, let's see. Actually, you have to start on the second slide because it would be the build-in on the second slide. So go back up to inspector. And then we come over here to our transitions and change our effect to, how about sparkle? That sounds exciting. And we'll make it two seconds long. Left to right sounds good. And we can start it on the click when we open that new slide or automatically. We'll, we'll do it automatically for this. Close that, click the first one, and then up at the left hand side you see new, that's the, a new slide, and then play. So we'll click on play. There it is, looks nice. Give it a click. And there is our uh, build out, kind of. So then we can go back on the slide two, transition, build in, build out. So let's do a build in. I don't know why it isn't letting me do a build in. Probably because I have, it probably doesn't want more than one. And there's lots of effects here. You can put text, you can put effects on text, 2D and 3D effects, object, we can push. Like if you have pictures and stuff, you can have that come in later. Really advanced, yet really simple to control, um, adjust what it looks like and how long it lasts. So how about we do uh, the doorway here? This is pretty popular. Go back up to slide one and play. Click. And then that would be the doorway to our next slide. Now if we wanted to do that for slide one, you'd go to slide one uh, into two, back over the transition. That's what I did wrong last time. And then swing. We'll see what that looks like. Let's see. Yeah, we're not going to do that. And then into the next one kind of flips over like that, and then our doorway is the theme to the next one. So if you wanted to go from one to two with a transition, you put the transition on one. That's what I, that's what my problem was, I had it on the wrong tab. Apologize for that. Up to colors, you're gonna find that color wheel, that'll adjust uh, pretty much any element on the page that you want to adjust. And then you see these uh, locks over here, you can adjust that, and of course the size and fonts up here, click on fonts, change it to anything under the sun, color, text, uh, of course, family, typeface, size, it's all there. Um, Saving. For some reason, people still ask me on this, even though I uh, say it at the end of the video. Save as. You can save this document as a PowerPoint presentation, which is a .ppt. So that would work with Office all the way back to probably Office 1995. Anything before that, you shouldn't even be using before 2003, I'd say. Um, but uh, if you don't do that, it's going to save it as a .keynote file, which is going to better render the effects and content and graphics with uh, another Mac. Or if you are going to be using a PC with Office uh, 07 or 10, then you can save it as a PowerPoint presentation. Some of the effects don't come through, but most of them do. If they don't come through, then Word does its or uh, PowerPoint does its best to find the most applicable um, 
effect or whatever you've added to to make it look good. Of course, you can edit it and save it and make them talk to each other. Just for the record, I would always save a uh, a .keynote file as well, just in case you want to go back in and do it on a Mac later or have some of those effects editable if you don't like the uh, the PPT. So, super easy to do all this with graphs and charts and tables. I mean, it's it's all visual, very 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 visual application. Your table here, you just select rows and columns. It's pretty simple. Then you can do this in uh, pixels, which isn't always easy, but of course you can edit it if you find out it's too big or too small. Put text inside that. And uh, really the best way to do this is to download the free trial and just play with it. You might like it, you might not. Office for Mac 2011, I think is the most recent one. I'm going to try to get my hands on that and do a little comparison, but until then, um, Keynote from iWork 2009 is a fantastic application. I definitely recommend it, along with the whole iWork suite for only 80 bucks. So thanks for watching the series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like the video if you did like it. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Our website, as I say at the end of every video, is techinform.us. Then my Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. And catch us live tomorrow, as we do every Tuesday night, from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. So I'll see you guys there or in uh, tomorrow's video.